I went to Japan and I saw 18 engines on the floor, not a thousand. 18, because they were doing what's called just in time. This is a whole new concept of manufacturing, what's called just in time. When Ono noticed this timeline, and 95% of the time was waste, only 5% of the time was adding value. 5% of the less, if you go back in your company, even today, it's still probably the same. 5% of the time is adding value, 95% of the time is adding waste. And then Ono said, if we're gonna really make money and beat America and catch up to the world, we have to attack the waste, not the value adding. You see, in America, we focused on the 5%. We wanted to get faster machines, right? We wanted new technology. We wanted, we want, not smarter people. We, we've never done that too well. We, we don't want that. Now we send smart people to India. That's where we get smart people from. And we send things to China. Is really a shame. So Ono looked at the waste, and he def you should write this down. There are seven ways that you should learn. Seven ways, and then I'll give you two more. But there are seven ways that we should attack. This is what Ono did. He was the vice president of manufacturing Toyota, and he addressed, looked at seven ways. One waste, anybody know what they are? Transportation. Very good. Tra what's your name again? Warren. Warren, transportation. What else? Give me another waste. Overproduction. Overproduction, Warren. Very good. Give me another one. Waiting. Waiting. Excellent. Give me another one. Close. Defects is a waste. Motion is a waste. And the biggest waste, Ono said, was inventory. That GM plant had a thousand of everything. What a waste. All the money tied up there. You know what I mean? And the rental space and the... And the, and the you know, I was at a GM plant for one. I think it was a Buick plant. And the man is checking a door. He's a in quality inspector. He's checking the door. And I said to him, how many doors have been produced after this one that you're inspecting? He said, maybe 5,000. They continually stamp out. Maybe 5,000. I'm checking the door. I said, what if something's wrong with this door? You've got 5,000 doors that are bad. He says, Norman, don't worry. Because we have excellent rubber mallets in this factory. Is that right? It means we can put the door on the car and smash it with a hammer and it would fit. And that's what happened. When I bought that car in 1980, you're not as old as me, but we, nobody's as old as me. <laughs> and next to me was a pad of paper. Always, when I bought a car, I had a pad of paper on the seat next to me so I can write down all of the problems on the car. Today you buy a car, virtually problem free all came from this Toyota production system, or what we mean lean. They focused on getting rid of the defects. So it's been a miracle life for me. I went to Japan on that first trip, and I met Dr. Ryuji Fukuda. He was such a genius. And Fukuda said he wrote a book. He was a vice president of production at Sumitomo Electric. He wrote a book. I said, I'll publish it. I had no idea what I was saying. It took me two years to figure out how to publish a book. George publishes a book in a week. It took me two, two years to publish that book. <laughs> it was really interesting. But I found all of these marvelous tools called lean. And my latest discovery that I'd like to talk about. How much time do I have? Okay. I want to talk about the most important thing and then ask me questions. What do you want? Um, I discovered virtually every lean tool because that's what I did. That's my, Norman's little talent is to discover the talent in others. That's my little talent is to discover the talent in you. Pardon me, I'm always looking this way and you're over here. <laughs> and the reason I'm not looking over here because you're reading or you're, you're reading. Writing. You're writing. Okay, good. <laughs> um, About four or five years ago, I had a map, and I'm very happy to send you all this map. It's called, uh, it's called the Technology Map. It's an amazing map. The map shows, I should have brought a slide with you. The map shows how to get a world-class company on this map. And on this map, there you, you set your strategy and the systems and the tools you're going to use. 
and then you divide your company or your plant into 38 parts as an example. And you want to be the best in all 38. You see, what we do in America is so wrong is we want to be best overall. We don't divide it into its separate sex, separate parts and be the, the best at each part. Because you, what can you do overall in the company? You can only do the best in your specific area of expertise. So the, on this, it would show quality, productivity, supply chain. It would show people development, maintenance, et cetera. All the parts of the manufacturing process are on this map. The next column shows what technique is the best technique in the world? So for maintenance, anybody know the world's best technique in maintenance? Who knows? Warren, you should know. Well, predictive maintenance or... You're close. Come on. What is it called now? It's a new name for it. To me, it's very old. It's called Total Productive Maintenance, TPM. That's one of the things I found back in the early 1980s. Um, it was magic the way I found this. I mean, I had a good friend, Uchiyama. He was a publisher of Dr. Shingo. I published Shingo's books. Everybody should read Shingo's books. So I looked at this chart, and the seventh line says standard work. What? Standard manpower. Standard manpower. Then the next column says day-to-day -day management by objective, almost exactly what you're doing, um, Something like that. They didn't manage by objective. To improve people to their maximum capability. The next column said, who in the world is, is, is doing the best? Who in the world is doing the best? And it says Takashi Harada. Takashi Harada is the one who developed this Harada method, which is the best method in standardized work. What is standardized work? What is it? Yeah, but it means standard, standardized work. Same thing. What does it mean? Repetitive. Standardized work. Standardized manpower. What does it mean? Repetitive work. What does it mean? You're getting close. This is the best way to do something. So when you want to set up a standard in your company, you look at who's doing it the best, and that, that becomes the standard. Then everybody else has to follow the standard. There is a better way of doing it. We want to eliminate the variability. So I said, who's Taki Harashi? Taki Kashirada. I don't know who he is. And so I was lucky. I was, four students were interning from me from Portland State. I had four students. And three of them could read Japanese, and my wife could read Japanese. So my wife looked on, the, on Amazon in Japan, found that this man wrote 11 books, and I bought all 11 books. Then I gave it out to all of these students and my wife, and they read it, and they taught me what the Harada method is. I became so excited that I picked up the phone and I called Harada. Now, I don't speak Japanese, he doesn't speak English, but through my wife. I said, Harada, I want to bring your work to America. That's what I do. I published 250 books and 200 more, more than that now. 100 Japanese translations, I want to bring your work to America. And I said, when can I come and meet you? And he gave me a date a month later in November, and I got on a plane, business class, me and my wife, just to meet this man. This is a funny story. I meet him in Tokyo with the idea I'll take one of his books like I've done in the past and put it into English and then, and then market it here. And I said, okay, which book would you like me to do? And he says, no, no, I don't have a book for you. I just came from America. It cost me $25,000 to meet you, and you say you don't have a book for me. And he says, no, Norman, I want, to write a new, I want to write a book just for you. Then I said something I should have said 30 years ago. Not too, it takes me a long time to learn. Because I said to him, I want to co-author the book with you. I want to rewrite your book for the American audience and put in my story at the same time. And I did. I wrote a new book called The Harada Method. And it asked George, what do you think of the book? Hello. Wonderful book. And it really comes from this methodology that I'll give a brief description of why it's so powerful. It's been taught to over 60,000 people in Japan. It should be taught to everybody in America. Hi, my name is George Jones with the Lean Leadership Institute. I welcome you to join the online office. It's free. And when you do get in there, just find your way to courses and then the Harada Method course. You can download the product technology map as well as form in the Harada Method.
Tchau.